You thought we were done. You're right, I did. You thought we were finished with our monkey's business. But no, we're going back. We're going all the way back. Wow. I always knew it would end like this. Is, is this like Mario is missing, but it's like cranky or something? Like, is cranky missing in time? Uh, no. Oh, okay. We just, uh, we have to explore these uh, scary temples. Well, what am I supposed to do with all these trivia cards? Also, I feel like we could safely leave Cranky stuck in time. <laughs> I mean, he's already old, and that's basically like being stuck in time. Yeah, maybe uh, 2020 is finally the year we'll get rid of Cranky. You know, it's about time. People for years, they have been going, Oh, I love Cranky Kong, but they just don't understand the problems with him. Right. Oh, yeah. There's all those documentaries about the problem with Cranky, and people are like, <laughs> he's old, gross. <laughs> Yikes. He's old, and he's got smelly feet. This is basically, like, racism. <laughs> <laughs> and he's incontinent. If his feet are smelly, are his hands also smelly? Uh, no. I don't know if I can get behind this. No, because even though he's kind of a gross dude, he knows to wash his hands for 20 seconds. Oh, okay. He's saying happy birthday three times. He's a right. freak. <laughs> you can sing the DK rap to yourself, and then you know that you have finished washing your hands. The thing about Cranky Kong's hands is that no matter what, they always smell like James Dean. <laughs> That's unfortunate. Take us to the fridge, Cranky. And then he's like, oh, there's nothing there. Everybody bought everything. It's like, oh, well, oh, you said James Dean. I thought you said Jimmy Dean. And he pulls out his sausages. <laughs> <laughs> I don't listen to man with names of children, Jorps. <laughs> Sorry, Jimothy <laughs> is his full name. <laughs> That's right, it turns out President Carter was just three kids in a trench coat this whole time. I always knew it. <laughs> and he's really into his skateboard videos. <laughs> always knew that Jimmy Carter was just a bunch of immortal children. You know, if there's if there's anything in this temple that I thought we were going to find, I didn't know it was going to be presidential secrets. I hate breakfast sausage. It's just you like, know I don't what? know what I'm glad makes someone it... said it, because I agree. <laughs> oh I don't know what God. makes it okay. so much grosser than regular sausage, but somehow they found a way. Yeah, like, it's mm. the same meat, but I just don't like it in a patty. Like, oh, you can wait, do sausage. it's like in a patty? I thought yeah, it was like, like a bratwurst. No, no so, well, some breakfast so listen, sausage Americans is. have a weird thing where they call things that are not sausage sausage, and it's very confusing, and they are wrong. Well, it's the same meat. Well, then it's just fucking ground meat with things in it. But when you make a sausage patty, I think it just gets too crispy. I don't like the crisp. Maybe too. it's also like it, it's too aired out. Oh, maybe. Wouldn't like a sausage in a patty just basically be like a dumpling? Um, no? No, because dumplings are good and they're covered in bread. Or, you know, some kind of uh, gluten. Rice paper, you know. Also, can I just say that this level is called Bopopolis, and I think that that's cool. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to Bopopolis. Our pits are bottomless. Okay, Jay, whatever. I need to know about this breakfast sausage. I'm having trouble <laughs> wrapping my head around this. Well, I, I was having trouble wrapping, so it's all good. <laughs> Bopopolis is the name that uh, Donkey Kong gave to his new jazz song that he made <laughs> at the ending of the game. Oh, yeah. When he stole that guy's horn. Right. Oh, it's playing the, it's playing Jungle Japes. Yep, these are the classic Japes of the jungle. <laughs> it's true. The classic Japes of the city, in fact, are breakfast sausages. <laughs> that's a, that's not a Jape, that's like a travesty. That's like a crime. Okay, yeah, I'm looking this up, and these are not ideal sausage shapes. This is just a fucking shitty burger. Right? <laughs> See? 
Now you understand, but yeah, so sausage patties are pretty classic here in America, and they're wrong because they should just make them sausage, like links. Mm -hmm. Yeah, just like, give me a fucking bratwurst, or like, even the British bullshit. Yeah, yeah. just like, look dude, I, I don't want the sausage, can you just substitute with the bacon, please? Please? Or ham, or something. Yeah, uh, Canadian bacon even. Ooh. I'm crazy like that. Just give like me that. an entire fucking plate of beans. <laughs> Listen, I'm a 33-year-old American, and because of that, <laughs> I drink every night to forget the fact that my wife hates me, and I don't need this patty shit. I just need a regular fucking sausage and eggs, okay? So I can get rid of this hangover and go back to my wife who hates me. But the problem is, she loves sausage patties. Oh, and that's why I hate her. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but you know, we have to stay married because else God is gonna, I don't know, call me a bitch. <laughs> yep, classic. That's the classic Catholic belief. God is gonna call me a bitch <laughs> and a coward, and he's gonna be like, oh, why didn't you fuck that pussy for 50 years, bro? <laughs> you can't say that. <laughs> you can't say that on this, on this LP. Well, what, you're not gonna tap that every night? <laughs> like, no, God. <laughs> You, you go you go to pray every night and you're like, dear God, please don't neg me again. <laughs> <laughs> hey, no promises, dudes. Don't have a non-holy matrimony, man. Do you think <laughs> Do you think this is what happened when um Donkey Kong and Candy separated? <laughs> I like to think that uh, whenever Jesus saw Judas um, and Judas kissed him on the cheek, he was like, what the hell, man? <laughs> okay, so, you know, like our version of God, I think we've created our pretty funny version of God that the people love. But I need to know, is this Old Testament God or New Testament God? Um, I think like it kind of crosses over between generations, like Star Trek. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, so you've got, like, uh, William Shatner God, and then, uh, fucking, uh, Patrick Stewart God. Mm-hmm. That's wow. why Jesus was always drinking tea. It was a reference. Oh. That was clever. They only mentioned in the Gospels, but Jesus, huge tea and G guy. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, he's like, uh, watch as I turn this water into tea, and people didn't know that you just put the leaves in to do that. <laughs> so people were so surprised. And he was like, uh, whenever he was in the, the desert for 40 days, he was actually binging TNG. <laughs> yeah, he was like, oh, I, I don't like this uh, trial episode, but I like the one where the robot talks to Joe Piscopone. <laughs> <laughs> oh, T and G, like the next generation. I kept thinking of it like G and T, you know, like gin and tonic, but it's like tonic yeah. and gin. <laughs> no, T and gin. Yeah, the, <laughs> the classic combination. And also, excuse me, Joe Piscopone. Is, is Joe Piscopone a weird Joe that gets used in lasagna and shit? <laughs> <laughs> no, he's the gamer version of Joe Piscopone. Joe Piscopone. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, I guess that just makes me realize that I'm nothing but a Joe Marone. <laughs> <laughs> well, uh, Donkey Kong's a mighty Joe Young. Anyway, I still think a lot about the fact that, like, <laughs> the fucking Star Trek TNG episode is about teaching Data how to be a funny comedian, and then they're, like, in the holodeck, Hollow that give me the funniest comedian you know, and it's fucking Joe Piscopo. <laughs> <laughs> this episode was brought to you by Joe Piscopo. <laughs> Joe Piscopo, uh, you got any plugs at the end of the episode? He's just like, yeah, check out my new podcast. I feel like that should be adopted with uh with television. People should just be like like if there's a guest star at the end of the episode, they're like Oh, they like plug themselves. Oh, Lin Manuel Miranda, where can you find where can we find you? 
<laughs> is like, oh shit, man. You heard of uh, of a president named Hamilton? I got a whole <laughs> musical about that. And they're like, wow, that sounds um, cool. And they're kind of like not looking at the camera because they don't want them to know that they're lying. Right there on their yeah. phone. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I did this cool thing with it. I um, I made Hamilton rap and then tweet about how a rap means nothing today. <laughs> so do you think if Data had to ask who the funniest comedian in history was today, they would pick Dan Nanan? Hmm. Um, no, he's the youngest comedian, Chorks. <laughs> oh, I always get those confused. I think uh, Data is like a real big fan of Larry the Cable Guy because Larry the Cable Guy says, I don't care who you are, that's funny. Data thinks, oh, he's including robots. That's nice. <laughs> right, it doesn't matter who you yeah, are. It's really progressive of uh, Larry. It's equality. Thank you, Larry. He finally brought comedy back to the people. Now, I will say, although you've been doing very well in these levels so far, I, I noticed that one of the numbers on screen isn't a nine. What happened? Um, yeah, that's a, a glitch. Oh, okay. I, I actually edited the the number so people would feel less bad if they if they died. Oh, phew. OK. Well, you know, I respect that. You know, it's very humble of you. Mm -hmm. I, these don't seem like they're as hard as the first ones appeared to be. How's the, how's the difficulty on these bad boys? Um, this one's pretty difficult, honestly. Yeah, this one seems nasty. I I, I feel like I really mistimed this comment specifically on this level. No, but... it's okay. No, it's okay. all right. I know you're five seconds behind on the video. Right. <laughs> Well, I'm also like 30 sec uh, 30 minutes behind because of all the great combos we've been having. So, uh, no, but I, I think that generally these levels are about as difficult, especially if you want to collect all the puzzle pieces and like sure. your first run. Right. Like you do. Mm hmm. Like the pros do. Right. But this one has a really nasty part towards the end. Okay, I've, I've also noticed a lot less Billy Mitchell iconography um, in this game in comparison to the first one. Yeah, uh... uh they found out midway through development he was a feet guy. Uh, <laughs> damn. <laughs> so instead they put in the, the guy who got the, the high score in Dragster. Oh. Huh. Egg on their face, really. <laughs> they're like, yeah, we'll definitely make a Dragster level for you, and they're like, you kind of, you know... They got their fingers crossed behind their back. <laughs> like, of course Donkey Kong can't drive a car. He's not licensed. He doesn't know how to drive stick. What are you, crazy? <laughs> oh, it's just like Mega Man. Yeah, it's it's very much like Mega Man. Did they get the, um... Did they get the speedrunner of Mega Man to have his likeness in this game? <laughs> Yeah, um, Meg M. Man. Oh. How, uh, how fortuitous. Yeah, some would say that she was bored for it. Yeah, this kind of stuff seems like it's the hardest. Yeah, this is definitely the hardest part. There's a lot of moving parts. It also seems like this just kind of sucks because you never have, like, a little buddy with you. <laughs> Where's, where's my friend? I mean, you could come into the level, like, pre-installed with a little buddy. <laughs> yeah, but it's just like, Hong Kong's so alone out there. And, like, if you wanted to, you could come, like, with a bunch of barrels of buddies. Oh. I don't know if you saw, but I had a lot of, uh, coins, so I could just buy friends. Wouldn't that cause a problem with Donkey Kong, though, if he had to carry all these barrels around the level and platform? Oh, no, he juggles them. Oh, okay. Wow. He's very talented. Eh, he's okay. Maybe if Data asked who the funniest comedian was today, it would be Donkey Kong. I don't know why you would say that. I mean, I guess he's a monkey, and therefore, inherently, he's funny. But but he's like a gorilla, though. Gorillas sound really funny. You know, I'm just going to ignore that you said that, but okay. 
I mean, gorillas, you know, uh, they're more... Uh, I feel like gorillas are more cool than anything. Like, they look yeah, like they smoke. They're, like, cool and handsome. They're like uh, <laughs> James Dean himself, and not like <laughs> Joe Piscopo. <laughs> right. Of course. So what you're saying is that Donkey Kong should look into getting to, like, acting. Oh, no. God. He is terrible. You should see his improv performances. I don't know. I think Donkey Kong can have what it takes to truly be America's greatest ape actor. He doesn't have a ton of competition. What about Bonzo? He was elected president. Uh, he retired. Oh. From presidency and from acting. It's a shame. Damn shame. Yeah. I mean, here's the thing. Ever since Dunstan checked out the big one, <laughs> like, there hasn't <laughs> been any ape actors yet. Mm, I'm trying to think if I can... I feel like funny animal movies are kind of a dying breed. Like, even funny dog movies, like, dogs classically fairly easy to train to do funny stuff like put their hand in front of their face whenever somebody does something mm -hmm. embarrassing or bite somebody on the crotch. Right, or eat someone's heart on TV. But like they're getting replaced uh, by Harrison Ford. Yeah, there's a Harrison <laughs> Ford movie with like the CGI dog. Uh, I was actually watching Knives Out with my dad and I saw that trailer and I was just like, there was just a moment that I realized that like life is stopped being a good thing. Mm -hmm. <laughs> the CGI dog is a mongrel. It is like a horrible beast. I finally get like why people in Lovecraft stories go mad now after seeing that fucking dog. <laughs> Did the dog do anything that you were like, oh, you could never get a dog to do that in a movie? You can't do that on TV. Uh, I guess the dog was in kind of all the interesting situations, but you know, like... You can deal with that. Dogs don't care if they die. Yeah, like Donkey Kong, he just stands in spikes. He doesn't care. Yeah. Anyway, what I'm basically saying is that, like, this whole CGI dogs thing is entirely because the dogs were too sloppy and they didn't unionize. Oh, uh, yeah. <laughs> it's true. Again, we remember the One Tree Hill fiasco where he just wouldn't eat that heart off the ground. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. They were like, uh, eat your heart out, and he refused. <laughs> but I think one impressive thing with A Dog's Way or A Dog's Journey or whatever that movie is called. Dog's Life for PS2. Yeah, Dog's Life for PS2. Is that the actor really had to learn how to lick his own balls for it uh, to make it seem more realistic. <laughs> <laughs> Oh my god. <laughs> There's more levels. I love that it's just like this thing that's just like floating outside. Like it's something out of bounds you're not supposed to see. Like a test area. Oh hey, while you've been uh, traipsing around in this weird, colorful, fun little world here, here's the fucking monolith. It's going to destroy everything. <laughs> Fuck you. Yeah, this is like if um, the monolith in 2001 A Space Odyssey was made out of the monkeys and the, and the stone blocks <laughs> were the ones yelling about it. Oh my god. Before we move on, I want to say one last thing about the Harrison Ford dog movie. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> in the Netherlands, it has a dot. It has a dub. Uh -huh. And Harrison Ford, and it sounds like a Belgian pervert. <laughs> <laughs> what about the dog? Uh, Dutch pervert. Oh, okay. <laughs> okay. Well, well, at least it's a homegrown pervert. Wait, do they dub the dog with, like, different wolves? <laughs> yeah. Oh, man. <laughs> well, because they have to use the Dutch sound for woof, right? I need to do a comparison video. Because, you know, in different languages, it's like, oh, Japanese, it's like Wan Wan, and uh, in um, English, it's like Bow Wow, in Dutch, it's something else. Mm. So this part, you have to collect all those coins to get the... That sucks it's... ass. Yeah, it does. Don't worry. <laughs> it, you're right. These levels are difficult, but this one does give you a partner, and you should choose Dixie. <laughs> I'm glad that no matter how good Retro makes these games, they don't forget their roots of making absolute bastard idiot levels. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs>
they're like, well, we gotta give something to, like, the Donkey Kong Country original perverts, so let's just <laughs> right, make Donkey Kong sadists. fucking stupid, dumb levels. <laughs> the bad levels for idiots. These still <laughs> seem better than, like, most of the levels in the Donkey Kong Countries. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I mean, like, you could read what's happening. They don't, like, have a minecart level where you have to erase assholes. <laughs> That's right, you race very nice people in this one. Mm-hmm. You race yourself, the biggest asshole oh. of them all. <laughs> you race your own asshole. So I gotta say, this bonus will better be hiding like a King Carol cameo. It's actually indie pop star King Cruel instead, and it's very weird. <laughs> For some reason, I just thought you were gonna say Grimes, and I don't know why. <laughs> I mean, is it? Oh my god. Did we guess right? Is that why you thought you were going to say Grimes? You're like, oh no, they're going to get it. They're going to figure it out. Yeah. Donkey Kong, you're like, after beating all the levels, he gets in a Tesla. <laughs> and it catches on fire. Ugh. <laughs> uh, now I've seen everything. Fish that fly? Can you believe it? It's crazy. Oh, very nice dive. 8.0 from the Russian judge. <laughs> That's right, because Donkey Kong paid him off. Uh, typical Russian interference, everyone. <laughs> <laughs> and the, the, the Russian judge gives Donkey Kong the coronavirus, what? Oh my god, <laughs> wow. Oh man. We're so topical. Turns out Donkey Kong is hiding the Novichok in his tie. <laughs> uh, I've got something to admit, you guys. You not know what the coronavirus is? No, I'm the coronavirus. Oh, oh my, god. my god. My mistake. Sorry for all that. I forgive you. Maybe the real coronavirus was the friends we made along the way. <laughs> uh, actually, the coronavirus is one of the main enemies from Mega Man Battle Network. Oh, okay. He gives you Roboenza. Oh my god. <laughs> I like that this level is both a minecart level and a rocket level, just like really giving you the best of both worlds. Oh, yeah. Oh, don't worry, that means we'll have a boat thing as well soon, right? <laughs> oh, maybe. Mm, no, unfortunately. There are no boats in the sky. Suddenly this turns into Diddy Kong racing. <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah, they haven't made airships yet. That's when um, Donkey Kong meets Sid Kong. I hope he meets Sydney Kong. Rawr, rawr. <laughs> hey, 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 hey. He's just coming off of the divorce. He doesn't need a rebound. <laughs> That's what we need. The Donkey Kong Leisure Suit Larry game. <laughs> He's already got the tie. That's we we actually really don't need that, though. <laughs> actually, I agree. Listen. So Leisure Suit Larry. I thought it couldn't surprise me. And then I heard the new Leisure Suit Larry game. Boat has a reference to a sweary game and is also woke. <laughs> oh, it's and you woke? know, I hope you could still date Roberta Williams like in the first game. Because, <laughs> yeah, it's called Wet Dreams Don't Dry. Yeah. Based off the famously successful sweary game that they're still making uh, the chapters of to this day. <laughs> That's right. But, like, people I trust. People I know have been telling me it's actually, like, a pretty progressive game, which is still, like... <laughs> Does that mean it's a good game? No, <laughs> I don't... I haven't done my research that far. I'm just saying, Leisure Suit Larry has surprised me in that way, so maybe it will surprise me at one point by having a good game? Right. I have a very hard time even parsing that thought. <laughs> what was the one where he's in a college? Is it Magnum Cum Laude or something? Magnum uh, yeah. Cum Laude. Yeah. I got that uh, game when I was like 12. <laughs> uh, please, please, let's pronounce it like the Leisure Suit Larry would. It's Magna Cum Laude. <laughs> oh, I thought it was Cum -a Laude. <laughs> but anyways, yeah, that's the one. That's the one where, it, well, that's not even Larry. That's like Larry's like cousin, like nephew. No, no, no. That's the one where he works 
in a movie studio, and for some no, reason it has like that's a sequel to Magnum Laude. Yeah, those are two both the same guy <laughs> that isn't Leisure Suit Larry. Oh, okay. It's like the cousin of Larry. But for some reason, that kid has the ability to stick on walls like Ryu Hayabusa from Ninja Gaiden. <laughs> that's because he doesn't wash his hands. I mean, he does look like a gecko, so I guess it makes sense in that way. <laughs> I think it was very bold of the Leisure Suit Larry games to be both about sex and have like the worst depictions of what would be considered a hot person. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah, because like, Larry, please. So when is the Leisure Suit Larry Tenchu crossover? I don't know who set up this terrible rocket. <laughs> experience in the sky, but I think it's smart. I mean, to be fair, this level isn't the hardest, definitely. Like, once you know what you're doing, you can get there. Yeah, it looked like the one earlier with, like, the immediately falling platforms would have been way harder, where this one, like, has, like, time for you to figure out what you're doing. I wish you got to go on Snake Way, like you saw in the background there. <laughs> well, Donkey Kong's not dead yet. And uh, for beating all the hard stuff, you get hard mode. Great. They're like, do it again, asshole. Nice. Is, is that the end of the game? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> guess what? I did it again. I beat all the hard levels. <laughs> Great. Smart. 